Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Ghost, and I'm back with a brand new video. And today, this is episode 15 of Galacticraft, I believe. So today, actually, um, we're just gonna kind of work on this base right here. As you can see, I kind of changed it up from the last episode. We got our three solar panels hooked up. We have this little contraption going on. Um, honest to God, I almost ran out of oxygen right now because I was trying to set up all this new stuff right here. I'm trying to figure out why this ain't working. I really don't know why it's not, and it's kind of making me mad. Because it, it should be working, but I don't know why it's not. I mean, it's 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 hooked up to everything, so... Okay, um... I just forgot what I was saying because I was interrupted. Anyway, uh... So this is the one that collects oxygen. I wonder if we have to disable one of these. And maybe it'll just give it oxygen itself. Nope, that's not working either. Hmm, that's really weird. I don't know what is going on with these. Maybe I just need to have one hooked up. Let's try that. Let's try this real quick. Does that work? Nope, that doesn't even work at all. Okay. Maybe we need two oxygen collectors. Hmm, that's weird. I, I really don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, that's that's really weird. I, I I don't know what to say to that because it's just not working. Anyway, uh, since that's not working, I guess we can move on to making what we actually probably should ideally be making right now, which is a oxygen sealer. And basically, basically what that does is that we can be in a room like this, and um, It'll keep all the oxygen inside that way we don't have to be using our helmets or using up our oxygen. We can walk around freely without our oxygen gear on. And like we would have to have airlocks right here so we'd go in and then we it, it would close behind us. We would be in a little room with more airlocks in front of us. Those would be close to that door would close. We'd put on oxygen gear, this door would open up. So thus, we would be exposed to the element of space, and um, it'll take all the air that is in this little room that we have made for the oxygen sealers. And it would just take all the way, the air away, So, which is why we need the airlocks and the oxygen, like a little oxygen room. Pretty much, you should know what I'm probably talking about if we, if you have ever seen movies where they have to go in like little airlocks and they have to gear up and then they can go out or, or vice versa. Okay, so, uh, we need to do that. So, an oxygen sealer. We need to make some oxygen vents. We need compressed tin and, and um, compressed steel. So, we got some of that right here. Honest to God, I think I might need... I'm going to need more stuff, so... Yeah, I need one more piece of compressed tin. Uh, let's see here. Where is my tin at? It's probably on me, huh? Nope. Nope. Where's my tin? Is it in the spaceship? Yeah, it is. There's my tin. Okay. Oh, guys, we forgot to put up the flag. How could we forget to do such a thing? Can't believe that. We're going to put it, like, right... Right there. What a lame flag. But yes, that flag basically just marks our uh, accomplishment of getting to the moon, which is pretty neat. All right, we have our two oxygen vents for the sealer, so now we're going to need aluminum, which I believe we have in the chest right here. Nope, but I know it's in the rocket ship for sure. So we need four of those. There we go, four. We honestly might need to make more of these, but for now I'm just going to make one. Uh, let's see, Sealer, where are you at? Right there. So we got the aluminum. We need one of these, so we're going to have to make quite a bit of compressed steel, which is always annoying to make. So let's get out some more irons. I know we're going to need more. We'll just throw, I guess, eh, we'll do half of that. So half of both of these. We need to break down this coal block real quick. Throw all that in there. Perfect. Let's take this out real quick. We'll take those out. Okay, so an oxygen sealer. We need to make the... Um, 
basically just the oxygen fan. That's pretty much it. And we need a basic wafer and a piece of redstone, I believe it was. So we have all this stuff right now. Easy peasy to make O. So the fan, that's the recipe for the fan. We'll just do all that right now. All right, perfect. Now the oxygen sealer itself is pretty much everything we have on us. That actually worked out perfectly. One, two, that in the middle, these on the sides, oxygen sealer. Nice. Okay, so I would imagine let's put it right there. All right, so it says not enough oxygen, oxygen use, thermal control off. Uh, disable seal, enable seal. Okay, so does that mean there's not enough oxygen in this room? Do I need to hook it up over here? Let me try to hook it up over here and see what it does. So uh, let's just place it right there or maybe the other way around. That way it can actually connect to the pipes. Okay, that's good enough, I guess. So, okay, that's taking up air, but the bubble thing is not. That's kind of dumb. So if that's not going to work like it should, then I'm just going to go ahead and take that off because there's no point in having it. So we'll just do that. So this should be working. I believe. Area too big and unsealed. Okay, so that pretty much means that we have to enclose this area that we're in right now to actually have it work. So we're going to have to end up making some airlocks, and I don't see them around. But if we type in air, uh, there's an airlock controller. We're going to need to make one of these. What is that? Compressed meter, meter, meteoric, meteoric iron. Oh wow! So airlock frame. We're gonna need to make a bunch of these, and we need one of these. So compressed meteoric iron. I guess we get on the moon, right? Hmm. All right. So. I need to enclose this area. Let's just put our bed right there for now. I'm gonna go ahead and close this area and then we'll see we'll see what we need to do after that. Okay guys, so I completely sealed in this whole area and as you can see right there on the floor, both of my oxygen tanks are on the ground, including that one. So that proves that this sealer is working. But the only way I actually got that to work is if um is I had to cut off the wire, the power wire, and then it would work. So that's kind of a little just annoying. So I really don't know what I have to do about that. Um, Cause I obviously do need power and I don't know how I'm gonna go around that. So for now, as long as we have our oxygen tanks in a way to actually refill them efficiently, then we, then we don't really need to worry about that for right now. But instead, since we've gone over that, I'm gonna do that stuff offline just cause it might be a little time consuming and I don't wanna have to deal with it right now on camera. I think, um, let me figure out where that hole is at, should be right here. So I think we're just going to go exploring right now, honestly. I need to look for a moon village of some sorts. Uh, you know what? No, I'm actually going to go mining. I'm going to take you guys along with, with me mining and see what we see what we can find underground. So uh, let me just break a hole right here. There we go. I'm going to throw all this stuff in here, the stuff that we don't need. Which is pretty much everything. Uh, with that we t we'll take that. Um, let's see. We we don't need that. Don't need that. Probably need some food, so we'll take that, and we're pretty much ready to go. So, uh, let's see. There's a little area down here that we can go into, so we'll go ahead and just come down here. Take some moon iron with us, and we're just gonna start mining. See if we can run into anything exciting. Oh, torches don't work up here. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's right. I should have remembered that because there is obviously no air on the earth, on the moon to to feel the, uh, whatchamacallit, is that cheese? Yes, guys, look at cheese. They have cheese on the moon. And you can, I think you can eat that. Pretty funny how they have cheese on the moon, huh? 
Okay, since there is no uh, stuff down here for us to actually be able to see, I'm just going to turn the brightness all the way up. And we're just going to go exploring. See what we can find, see if we can run into any uh, bosses. Because one of the things that we came up here to do was to fight the moon boss. And then that will allow us to go on to bigger and better things. So being able to find that dungeon will actually be able to will actually be able to do that later on because that's pretty much the main goal of me for this episode not this episode but of the series is to beat the moon boss and then pretty much just do whatever um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue glad to craft after I do beat the moon boss just because my whole intention of actually doing the was just to go to the moon and that was it and we're here on the moon and now the only thing that I really need to do is just kill the moon boss, and then that's it. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue on. Uh, I might, might not. Uh, you guys should let me know what you think of that whole situation, because it's very easy for me to continue on. I don't mind doing it. But, yeah, I have not really found anything of use down here. I know when we first got onto the moon, it said that we might need a frequency module to be able to hear sounds but I really don't know why though like, I, I don't know what the whole point of this is maybe we should go back up and make that to see if it will actually help us with anything so that might be a good idea to do right now so I think I'm gonna head back up we're gonna do that real quick because it's not that hard to make and then after that uh, we'll come back and just see what happens uh guys where is our rocket ship at? Our lander? It Was it just not right here a little bit ago? Oh man, don't tell me something happened to it because we had a whole bunch of stuff on that thing. Oh man, oh man, don't let it be gone. Dude, oh my god, are you serious? We had so much stuff on that and it just despawned? Why would it despawn? We didn't even go that far. Does this mean I'm stranded on the moon? Because... Why, why would that despawn though? Like... Really now? Are you serious? I had stuff on that that I needed to get, and I had a whole bunch of stuff on there that I could probably be using right now, but it's all gone for whatever reason. Wow, that's actually really. That, that actually ticks me off a little bit. Oh man, what am I gonna do now? What am I actually going to do? Wow, that is actually really, really annoying. I don't know. Guys, if you somehow enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Alright, I hope the, the camera's in focus. If it's not, I apologize. I'm still getting used to the manual focus. Anyway, aside from all that, that's not the point of all this of this little short clip at the end of the Galacticraft video. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about what just happened in in the in the episode. So you saw that I was about to go mining, and then um, I decided to come back up to do something else. I don't remember what I was actually going to do, but I came back up, and my rocket ship was gone. Yeah, that's right. It's actually really annoying because. Um, there's a hummingbird like right there. That's what I'm looking at right now. Anyway, yeah, my spaceship despawned and it had all of my stuff in it. It had a bunch of really important stuff in it, at least from what I could remember. And, um, yeah, I was supposed to really figure out what happened with it. I don't really know why it did that. Um, I'm not really sure if I can even get it back. Um, <clears throat> and honestly, when I got to the moon, I was excited, um, really excited to be there. But then, um, it was actually a little bit more harder than I thought it would be. It actually requires a bunch of stuff that I did, that I probably should have prepared on Earth, and, um, 
that is really kind of bugging me right now. But honestly, I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to, in the next episode or so, I'm probably just going to start, load back in, try to make the, um, something that I need to hear stuff, and maybe that'll help with what I need to do to figure out where the, the moon dungeon is at or whatever. If not, then I'll probably just Google how to get to the moon base or whatever. Not the moon base, but the boss dungeon. Then after that, once I figure out how to get to that area or how to locate him, I'll beat the boss and that's probably going to be the end of Gladcraft. It kind of sucks to say because I was actually having a ton of fun with Gladcraft, but once that rocket ship despawned, I was like, this is the end. I don't really want to do it, do it anymore just because it's like, there's just so much stuff that you need to actually do to be prepared for the moon and... I, I wasn't really, I didn't really think that I would need to have prepared the oxygen stuff and the air locks and stuff like that beforehand if I had known that I should have had those ready before I actually went to the moon. I would have done it. I didn't really think that I would need to have wasted a lot of time and resources on the moon actually trying to get all that stuff set up. If I was able to do it on the earth beforehand, I would have done it. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm kind of repeating myself. I'm also trying to make this too long, but yeah, um, Galactic Craft will probably end after I beat the Moon Dungeon boss thing. Because my whole, the whole point of Galactic Craft was, me, was for me to go to the Moon, beat the boss, and that was pretty much it. Like, I know there's Mars and Jupiter and Saturn and all that stuff, but that's just, that, that would, that, that would, that I know there's, there's Mars. I know there's Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, and all that, but that's just a little too much for me. Um, while I do like the series, I also didn't want it to drag on too much, so that's honestly probably where I'm going to end the series after I beat the boss. It's probably just going to be the end of it, and then after that, probably going to have to move on to something else. Um, I don't know what, but hopefully it'll be good. And also, because of the rocket ship thing, that's also what caused me to stop uploading a little bit, because I was uploading pretty much... I think almost for like a week straight I was uploading pretty good, pretty regularly. Had two videos going up a day, but then after that I was just like, whatever, I don't really feel like doing anything. But I figured I might as well just get it over with instead of making you guys wait all this time. So I'm sorry if you guys are sad to hear that. Um, uh, if you have any other suggestions or anything like that, please let me know. I'll be glad to hear it. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry for getting kind of mad with how I was in the episode. Maybe you guys didn't think I was mad, but I was actually pretty mad that everything just spawned. But anyway, this is going on for a little bit too long. I'll talk to you guys later.